welcome into the Press Box Fantasy Football Show. Glenn Clark, Kyle Ottenheimer, and our our host, the lovely and talented Mr. Ken Zalis, who is here in the live casino hotel studio with us. How are you, sir? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm all right. I got a lot of questions. Tonight is like a big problem. It's a huge it's problem. A r- it's a really big problem, particularly with the Colts. I'll tell everybody uh, the Press Box Fantasy Football Show is brought to you by Glory Days Grill. Catch all the action at your neighborhood Glory Days Grill, where they have tons of TVs to catch every moment of every game. Glory Days Grill, great food, good sports. I'm going to be at Glory Days Grill in Towson on Thursday, December 5th, collecting coats with Drew Forrester and Towson basketball coach Pat Scary. Hope that you will join us between 6 and 8 p.m. We'll have some uh, food specials, a lot of stuff going on. Just a chance to hang out, talk sports, talk to the uh, the coach of the Tigers, and uh, need to, to lift up our community, bring us some coats, some jackets, some gloves, hats, the whole deal that we can take down to uh, Helping Up Mission. Uh, hope to see you at Glory Days Grill on Thursday, December 5th. So we'll start with T.Y. Hilton, who, like, didn't practice, but... It's a short week. It's Thursday night game. Practice is kind of weird for most teams those yeah. weeks anyway. There's this thing that, like, you believe that T.Y. Hilton could play without practicing. I, I know the answer is as simple as you're going to have to, like, watch and see what happens tonight. But if he plays, you're you're playing him, aren't you? Yeah, if he plays, you're playing him. Um, it's trending in the right direction if you believe the Indianapolis beat reporters and people that watch things that, you know, don't really – um, have w- with him not on the practice field, reading the tea leaves, knowing the coaching staff, knowing uh, what he went through the week before and whether he was close or not. Yeah, you're playing him. I mean, he's a he's a wide receiver too, especially in a week that some pretty big teams are, are on by still mm-hmm. and, and we have some injuries. We just – we'll talk in a couple minutes, another injury that probably, you know, kind of affects some people um, kind of popped up uh, – out of nowhere. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. Uh, Muhammad Sanu is probably going to miss oh. several weeks. Wow. Um, just got reported uh, probably within the last 15 minutes. So, wow. Um, really not thrilled that right. he dropped and kill Harry in right. a couple it, of weeks. Right. It's like, you know, so obviously the pivot is to kill Harry if if you so choose. Uh, I think in one league I actually picked up Nikhil Harry to this morning just because I wanted to get rid of somebody else that, you know, who knows. But, uh Tough week for these things, and, and then you have you you have we don't know what's happening with the Rams and being a Monday night game is kind of difficult. Robert Woods apparently still, who knows, isn't with the uh, going through personal stuff. I hope everything is truly okay with with his situation. We don't we think Brandon Cooks is going to play. We don't know for sure that Brandon Cooks is going to play. Uh, you know Sterling Shepard, we think he's going to play, but he's still not out of the concussion protocol. So when you add all those kind of things in and, and unsure, if he's active tonight, you put him in your lineup. T.Y. Hilton. I, I, I think mean, it's I mean, as simple, it's simple as that. It really is as simple as that. that. Where you rank him, good. I ha- I think I – right now I'm planning on him playing. I have him 20th. So, if, you know. If he doesn't play, you know, I mean, how valuable is Zach Paschal? He's a wide receiver, low wide receiver three, because we've seen this before with good matchups and didn't happen. Like he had this one breakout game and situation, and ever since that, like, oh, we could use this guy, and he's not there. Um, kind of makes you wonder what the Colts didn't, yeah. didn't see in Deion Kane to, to flat out release him, because he's probably going to start for the Steelers this week with all the injuries they have. Um, so I, I just, yeah, you, you throw me in, especially in a PPR. Um, it, it doesn't – I like Brissett tonight, but I don't love him without T.Y. I, I kind of have him where I have him, top 10-ish, because of his history against uh, Houston and also the fact that when T.Y. plays, they're really, really good offensively. But you also have to remember we don't know – um, for the Colts, what we're doing at running back. Okay, so that's the next question. Uh, I, I don't know what we're doing at running back. Yeah, I know everybody went and spent whatever fab money they had left on Jonathan Williams because he came in the game and ran the ball 13 times for like 113 yards or whatever. It looked really, really good. But it's Jonathan Williams. Jonathan Williams has been cut by everybody in the league, I think. Talented, and, but yeah. Talented, but he's been cut by everybody. And there was no Jordan Wilkins. If, again, if this is – 
if Jordan Wilkins is active, I really don't want any part of Williams or Wilkins. I'm, I and I want to go and I Williams, and right. I want to go see if Hines is on the waiver wire. But I, I especially in a PPR type situation. So um, because I think if Wilkins is active, we're just we're looking at twenty five touches split down the middle um, against a team that I think most people think you can pass on better than I mean, you know. Easier to pass against them than run against them. I so know you would play Hines over Williams in a PPR, yeah, half point PPR. Probably so. Probably so. Uh, uh, that that's only if again, if both Williams and Wilkins are active, because Wilkins has looked good when he's had the opportunity. He's a, he's a really talented running back, and the only reason we saw. Jonathan Williams, and we all know his name right now, is because Wilkins was inactive and you had an injury in the middle of a game. Um, so uh, it's messy. Uh, and being Thursday night, like you said, it, it causes problems because you're kind of forced to make this decision right. when you don't want right. to make the decision. But it's going to come down to let's see who's active. Um, hope we get some good news and some clarity as far as how it's going to work out, but it, uh, but if they're both active, I don't love either one of them. If I if I had to, if you're you know the whole bit, you know, put a gun to my head, please take the gun right. away. What are we doing? Yeah. Uh, if both Wilkins and Williams are active, I'd probably lean towards Wilkins, <coughs> just because he's their guy and has been there, and there's probably more trust with him. Um, but if but Hines would be the guy that is the passing down guy and the third down guy. Um, the other one tonight, uh, Will Fuller's back? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, that's been rumored. There's been no official word. I, I I know a lot of people, and again, you're in these situations where you're going to have to flip the coin and say, uh, you know, because I have these other issues that you have to wait on. I don't know what, I, what I'm doing with him later in the week. I guess the week. question is the same way. If he plays. Uh, see, I'm not there with him. Okay. I'm not. I'm not as there as he's a plug and play. He is not T. Y. Hilton. I mean, he, he just uh, he's been up and down when he did play this year. It's not like he was. It's not like two years ago where every time he played, he caught a sixty yard touchdown pass, and we could go to the bank with it. It, it hasn't been like that. Um, again, well, probably wide receiver, low three, four ish for me, flex worthy. Um, but he's not a plug and play for me just because he's there. Because as we have seen with Will Fuller, he is an in-game injury risk when he comes back from stuff like this. He's, you know, he five routes up, tightened up, I'm done. Um, so there, there, you got to take that into consideration when some of these guys come back from from some of these, you know, tissue issues. All right, um, the situation: Juju Smith-Schuster out in mm-hmm. Pittsburgh. Uh, James Washington, the only game in town, right? Yeah. I mean, Deion, Deion, Deion Johnson's not going to play. He's got a neck. So it's, I, I mean, the volume's got to be there. I mean, Holton can't catch. Is it Horton? Holton? I don't even know I, what the other I, guy I, is. I don't know. You know, I don't even know what his name yeah. is. He can't catch. They ran I, out Dante Moncrief a couple weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, they, they ran out. I, I really think, I mean, this is a, <laughs> you want to you wanna play with fire. Deion Kane's probably going to be active. Who signed off the off the Colts' uh, wa- uh, waiver wire the, uh, last week. Um you know, uh, he's the he's the only guy that's going to get targets. So, in a PPR situation, yeah, I mean, the, they got a good matchup against Cincinnati. So, I, I'll take a flyer on him. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, uh, say to me right now, okay, you can start Fuller tonight, or you can wait on James Washington. I'm going to wait on James Washington and go there and assume that he's the number one target for. No, I get that of the of those two options. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. So, right. so, so, yeah, I, I, I mean, we we got to. If he doesn't get double digit targets, I don't I don't know who is there. I I I've named all the receivers. I don't really know the ne- the second guy's name, Johnny Horton, I think is Johnny his Horton name. does sound right. Okay. That does it sound does right. Sound right. Yeah. Uh but name another I mean I mean I don't even know anybody else on the roster at wide receiver at this point. So yeah, it's a terrible situation. Uh in Cleveland, David Njoku. Yeah. Looks like he's coming back. They also have like a thousand tight ends on their roster. Like is is he a guy that you should be owning? I'm assuming he's not a guy you should be playing. Uh, with the way tight end is this year, Ingram's not still not back this week. Uh, we don't know if Kittle is a hundred percent. Looks like he's more on the doubtful side than the questionable side to me. Um, to give him another week, uh, 
he would be in a and Joku would be a guy great matchup. Um, I'm not mad at you. You know who am I? Who am I? Um, depends who I'm starting over you. Right. I, I mean, I, he's a guy that. If you've been streaming tight ends all year, I had somebody. Who I, I don't want to like. I try to get the questions after the break, but I had somebody who asked hypothetically, uh, Joku or Dallas Goddard. No, well, Goddard. I'd rather go Goddard because okay. Goddard gets gets red zone looks, um, and his teams try to take away as as we talked about last week. That worked out pretty well. Yeah, hey, had a touchdown um, last um, week. That's right. <laughs> Your game. Yeah. Um. You know, I he when when teams double team Zach Ertz, he's the guy that gets open in the red zone. So, um. I'd rather go that way, but if if you're saying to me, hey, I'm looking at Cameron Brait or Jack Doyle this week, or you know, I'm going to throw out a name in a little while that I guarantee you neither of you have ever don't even know is in the NFL that I'm starting this week in a league. Now, wait a second. I'd like to know. Yeah. I know what a lot of names. Do? Who is it? Hold on. i got to look them up. This you is, don't even know yeah, who I do. That's, that's tight point. end on uh, – he scored a touchdown last week, didn't yeah, he? You know, no, he didn't. You know the team? Mm -hmm. you, what's the team? And I'll see if I can come up with it. Atlanta. No, I have no idea. The only Atlanta uh, tight end who know Who knows? No. no. Jaden Graham. Nope. Yeah, I don't, know. Don't, yeah. don't know him at all. <laughs> don't know him one I, be bit. I believe he went to an Ivy League school, and he had two targets last week, had two catches on those two targets. They play Tampa Bay. I'm throwing them out. Nice. Everybody scores against Tampa Bay. I'm even using them in my DraftKings lineup that I just published on PressBoxOnline.com. Hey <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. You know, I mean, look. Yeah. I mean, we're looking at uh, you know, um, uh, for Njoku, uh, Noah Fant, Jason Witten, Darren Fells. Is this the Darren Fells week? I don't know. He, you know, he catches two balls a week. So I, I, I'm not mad if you want to grab Njoku and and he plays and you start him. Sure, why not? He's no, he's no, he's no worse than the cast of characters we've all been starting you. at tight end all I year hear long. You. We I we hear can't you. deny the talent um, of Njoku, so why not? All right, very good. We are going to get to uh, some questions. We need about uh, ninety seconds, and then we'll come back in here and get to your questions at Glenn Clark Radio on Twitter. You can also put them in the comments on Facebook. And we will get to your questions next. Ken Zalis is here in the Live Casino Hotel Studio. It is the Press Box Fantasy Football Show. Dating was hard, but ring shopping was harder. Settings, cuts, color, we were overwhelmed. Then her friend sent us to Smythe. Total game changer. They took the time to show us the ropes. We left with this perfect ring. <laughs> she still can't take her eyes off it. I'm actually excited to go back for the wedding bands. <laughs> but don't tell her I said that. Why is Smythe Jewelers where Marilyn gets engaged? Our collection is hand-selected and comes with a friendly face to help you find the perfect ring for your perfect partner. Catch all of the action at your neighborhood Glory Days Grill where we have tons of TVs to catch every moment of every game. Enjoy $6.99 burgers on Mondays, $5.99 nachos on Thursdays, and drink specials throughout the season to help you cheer on your favorite teams. Come in today and try something new from our seasonal menu. Glory Days Grill, great food, good sports. Need groceries today but don't have time to shop? Order online with same-day pickup or delivery at Wise Markets. Wise to go online. Now that's convenient. Yeah, we're going to do the show again. <laughs> Back in here on the Press Box Fantasy Football Show. All right, let's get to some questions. Uh, as always, we start with me because I'm most important. Yes. So, again, I'm in this T.Y. Hilton sort of, you know, purgatory. Right. If T.Y. Hilton plays, obviously I'm playing him. Yes. If he doesn't, I assume that I'm playing Golden Tate instead of Zach Pascal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, if he plays... <laughs> Then I just, I'm, I've got Golden Tate currently sitting in my flex spot. Right. My options would be uh, Miles Sanders, Jonathan Williams, or I could activate um, Darius Geis. I'd probably go Sanders this week. Over Tate. Oh, uh, Tate. Okay. I, I misunderstood. PPR? Yeah. Uh, yes, in a PPR. Then, then, I'm, then I'm definitely going Tate still. Sticking with Tate. Yeah. But if I have to play Tate. If as you have a, to play Tate as a wide receiver instead because yes. Hilton is out, right. then, I guess then you would go with uh, Miles Sanders as Correct. your guy. Correct. Um, you, I, I'm trying to see if I can get and kill Harry back. This is definitely. I just dropped and kill Harry. Would you, if you can get him, would you drop Jonathan Williams in order to pick him up? Um, if Wilkin, okay, and again, this is the the funny little thing we're going to do. If Wilkins is active. Yes, a thousand percent. So if, if Wilkins is active, then I can all drop, signs point to Wilkins being active. 
all sides are pointing there, yeah. but but you know we we know how these pregame things is. And, oh God, I don't feel great. I feel tight. Uh, but if Wilkins is active, then I can drop Jonathan w- Williams, Williams and pick and up, up Harry, Nikhil Harry. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, from John Little Rock, would you drop uh, Jameis Winston or Josh Gordon for Nikhil Harry? I have Lamar as my quarterback. No. Okay. Uh, Josh Gordon, Golden Tate, or Debo Samuel? Obviously, we got some injury stuff waiting on with Debo Samuel. Yeah, I mean, if 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 Debo, which he looks like he's okay, I'm going Debo. Um, over those for the, those three. Um, I like Gordon a lot this week. So, okay. So, what's uh, the answer? I don't understand what you're saying. It's Debo for me. Okay, it's Debo. it's Debo. If for some reason he doesn't play, who was it? Gordon or who? Uh, Tate. Tate. Okay. From we've learned Tate and White. Yeah, those are your guys. It's always <laughs> the answer. <laughs> Paul in Ovilando says I have Tyler Lockett, uh, Mike Evans, and DJ Chark. It's a pretty good li- world to live in. Jesus okay, good Christ. for you. Yeah. Now stop Congrat- bragging. Next question. Congratulations <laughs> on winning your league, Paul. <laughs> Would you replace Evans in the lineup with Crowder or Debo Samuel? I'm not answering that. I mean, it's just absurd. Right? It's like, just I'm, absurd, dude. Like, I'm not saying. Debo Samuel's been great, though. Like, this is. For two weeks, been, but, but. He's been. But he's been great for those two weeks. I'm playing Mike Evans. That's what I. I would, I'm playing. I'm, I, I, at this point, and I know that, that people are upset with Evans one week. Godwin hasn't scored in a couple weeks, but he's still catching seven balls a week for 60 yards. I'm just starting Godwin and Evans. They're top five on my board every single week because they throw the ball a ton. The, I get that Atlanta has played pretty well defensively the last two weeks, but I'll just deal with, I'll deal with it that they're going to throw 50 times and get the volume. Uh, Jalen Samuels, Devin Singletary, Carlos Hyde, Darius Geis start two. Samuels for sure. Okay. So Singletary, Hyde, and Geis. So right on high till fourth quarter. Uh, Singletary. Singletary is the other. Now, so then Hyde, Geis, and Will Fuller needs a flex. Hyde. Okay. Don't um, love it, but they don't really like the other two. From Nick Kelly, uh, Baker Mayfield, or Derek Carr? Baker's dangerous this week. I got I, this is. I can't believe I'm about to ask this question. But I'm playing Baker okay. this week. So I'm really kind of at my wits end with Tom Brady, right? Like Oh, it's not even a choice for me this week. You're playing Would you Baker. Drop Tom Brady? I'm, I'm playing. Are you comfortable dropping Tom Brady? Uh d- if I mean, I have Lamar Baker, Jackson, right? Like I Yes, if you have Lamar Jackson, yes, I'm comfortable. Would you Okay, so um, Brady's my quarterback this right as of right now. So I'm just going to say I I would to drop somebody if I were to pick up Baker, right? Mm-hmm. I could drop Zach Pascal. I could drop Josh Gordon. I could drop Dallas Goddard. I, I'm assuming George Kittle's playing. I, I can't assume that right now. Okay, so I have to hold on to Goddard. Mm-hmm. So I'd have to drop Pascal, Gordon, or Miles Sanders, or I could drop Brady and pick up Baker Mayfield to play. Also, why is so, everybody trying to convince me that Jeff Driscoll's the guy that I should be playing this week? Driscoll's actually I know, look good I'm for not, two weeks. I'm not doing it. <laughs> He's been my quarterback for in, my, in my dynasty league for two weeks because I've been decimated by I injury. I don't love him with Kenny Galladay. Well, I, but, yeah. Um, so, for this, I, I, it depends where you are. I don't know what your I'm record. seven and four. Have you can have you? I'm, I'm third currently. I'm have still you, have you locked for, up, have I have you, not locked up a body yet. Up. So Brady hasn't been good. I know. I'm very aware. The problem is that Baker hasn't been either, but he's been good enough lately. And his matchup for this week. I mean, if it's a one week thing, are you starting? Are you? Is there any chance you're starting Pascal or Gordon? Mm, it's. I mean, only depending on right now. If Pascal, if, okay. If Hilton plays, there we go. If Hilton plays, drop Pascal and pick up Baker. Okay. Done. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, that's fair. I mean, but if, but like, am I? I'm not playing Zach Pascal anyway. Even if right. Hilton. But but uh, but it makes that decision really really easy. But we're assuming that Hilton, if he doesn't play tonight, is going to be back next right, week, right? right? And if so you're then, not and if you're not playing Pascal this week, then, then yeah, I might as well on. just do it. Yeah. 
All right, I'm drop. I can't believe I'm doing. I'm dropping Zach Pascal to pick up Baker Mayfield, and then you're telling me I'm playing Baker Mayfield over Tom Brady this week. I have Baker as a top ten quarterback this week, and God, is, and Tom is, Brady is nowhere near the top ten for me. To? What has life come to? All right, Kyle, go ahead while I reset this. Um, I have good receivers on one team. Too good. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, Kenny Galladay, Cortland Sutton. What is it with all of these guys bragging about their receivers um, around these? Michael are, Gallup. Their running backs stink. Yeah. Me? No. I have Chubb and Carson. Michael Gallup and Terry McLaurin. Okay, so I'm, Hopkins I'm, and Gallup are automatics for me. Are they? You think the Patriots, you're not afraid of that at all? Uh, no, because that's not what the Patriots get, are like going to take gonna away. Try to take away Michael Gallup? Yeah, they're taking away Zeke and Cooper first. So uh, it, if anybody's going to have a big day f- from, the, from Dallas, I think it's Gallup this week. So to me, they're automatics. Uh, I can't start McLaurin right now. It's so tempting. It really is so it tempting this week. So, uh, I think that and with, without, I heard he had a 67 yard catch called back. I know. Um, that's it's my, hard. I mean, he's in my top 30. I I still have Sutton. Sutton so, over Galladay. Uh, I have Galladay over Sutton. So you would play. I would play Gallup, Gallup Galladay, and Hopkins. Those would be my top three. You're not scared of the Driscoll Galladay lack of connection. Uh, no, because he likes to. Th- he threw the ball up two weeks ago to him. You know. Okay. So no, I'm not. I'm not too scared of it. There's nothing in Washington that scares me. Plenty. <laughs> Them being up by thirty. Washington? No, Detroit. Well, then you got to think Galladay already scored. Well, I don't know. Last time it's been all Marvin Jones for the past five weeks. It has been. Anything else? Um, <laughs> in the other league, I have a defensive issue. We're just sitting here talking. I know. Nothing just, else going on. But I got more questions to get to. I know. The Raiders' defense against the Jets. Like them? More like, would you like them enough to... Uh, somebody else has this question. Somebody asked, uh, this oh, is cool. from uh, uh, Jeff. Jeff said, Raiders or De- Detroit defense against Washington? Ooh. I actually have Detroit over the Raiders. They are playing the the Redskins. Yeah, like I, I have Detroit over the Raiders. So I need a Raiders. kicker in this league. Okay. I have three defenses, so I'm a jerk. Oh. I also have Tom Brady. Okay. Now, I have the Raiders defense, who I don't feel like I would use at all beyond this week necessarily. Their schedule's not exactly great. Who are your other two defenses? The Jaguars and the Packers. I picked up the Packers because their schedule's cake if, yeah. after this week. Um, would you play the Jaguars against the Titans, drop the Raiders to pick up a kicker, or would you play the Raiders, drop Tom Brady to pick up a kicker? I'd drop Brady. If, you're, if your quarterback's Lamar, just go drop Brady if you don't want to drop any of those. Well, which, which, which defense are you not starting? The Jaguars, but I'd be more inclined to play them week 16 against the Falcons in the event that... No. I would probably drop. I mean, we're in week 12. I would drop. If it were my team, I would drop the Jaguars. If I'm not playing them until week 16 at all. Well, it's also a defense I'm not sure I want other people to have. They're not that good. Okay, there you go. There you have it. Hey, she's a perfect fit. Your fantasy draft pick of all time, but can you close the deal? The answer is yes when you propose with an engagement ring hand-selected by the coaches at Smythe. Smythe Jewelers let the end zone dance commence. Uh, Kareem Hunt or Miles Sanders? Does he say PPR or non uh, or, or half? PPR, he did. He PPR. did say PPR. I'm going to go hunt with a PPR, straight PPR. Okay. Um, need a flex. Uh, ooh, uh, Miles Sanders, Josh Gordon, Matt Breida, Nikhil Harry, or try to find something on the Sanders. waiver wire. Sanders. That, that's easy. You like Miles Sanders. Uh, it's, it's not that. I love him, but I like him enough that he'll get enough over those guys that I, you know, I like Josh Gordon. I've, I wrote him as a sleeper this week. I have him probably ranked as high as I've had him all year. Uh, but I'm glad you brought that up. This is my, uh, uh, Josh Gordon or Terry McLaurin. I don't have him that high. Okay, so McCl- <laughs> McLaurin. I, I mean, I I think there I think there's a game script to to be said for. You know Wilson to throw the ball all around, um, and Gordon being a part of that. But he's still the number three receiver there. McLaurin's the number one. Like Kyle said, you know he did get a long touchdown call it back. We'll see. Okay. It's against Detroit. By the way, this, is, this is Matt. This is the guy that just asked that question. He said both Jalen Samuels and uh, somebody else is on his waiver wire, and I just lost it. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, well, I would definitely pick up Jalen Samuels. Yeah, I would right? start Jalen Samuels this week. Uh, yeah. He said both Jalen Samuels and I'm so sorry. I don't know what just happened. 
Uh, oh, Naheem Himes are available on his. I would. Right. I would pick up Sander, uh, uh, Samuels and start him then. What about you? Would you wouldn't pick up Hines? I, no, not over Samuels. Well, he could pick up. Oh, he only needs one spot, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. So I that, mean, PPR. I, I'll, I'll take Samuels. If Hines is on somebody's waiver wire or out there available to be had, would you pick him up? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you had something to drop, you need him. I mean, there's. I, I'm looking at his floor tonight at about ten ten PPR points. Okay. All right. And from Tony, Tony says, do, 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 Miles Sanders or Devontae Freeman? That's going to be Sanders, right? I don't think Freeman's playing, is he? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. I don't think Freeman's playing, so I don't, I don't it, think we have to worry about that yet. Makes it a fairly easy <laughs> choice, does it not? Uh, and then he also, this is the same guy, Tony says, I need a defense. You, Tony, you got to tell me who your option is. He says, who's available on the waiver wire? Tony, you got to tell me. I'll tell you who's available on the waiver wire. Right now. Okay. Atlanta Falcons. Start them. All right. Go get the Atlanta Falcons, Tony. That's 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 your answer. Go get them. <laughs> Since I'm working blind here. No, I, I completely <laughs> agree. Oh, no. He just followed back up. He says, best defenses on the waiver wire are Tennessee, Denver, Indianapolis. None of those guys are great. No, Tennessee's in my top 12. I'll go Tennessee. Okay. Very good. Uh, what else are you thinking about this week? Um... You know, I. Oh, he also says Cleveland is available. You play Cleveland, oh, right? Cleveland, yeah, Cleveland, Cleveland's, Cleveland's ranked third this yeah, week. Yeah, what are you doing? Why are you My wasting God, time, man? Why are you wasting our time, Tony? Seriously, we should have started with Cleveland. Jesus, <laughs> that is the weirdest question, man. <laughs> also, how there's is Cleveland a, there's available? A, there's a there's a guy looking at his computer. He's like, oh, Cleveland's available. <laughs> what the hell? They're playing Miami. Have you heard of them? Jesus. Um, I look. You just it's it's don't if you have not clinched a playoff spot, you have to look at your standings. You have to see what is your issue. What where do you sit if you lose this week? And don't hold on to things. That if you're whoever you're deciding you're not starting is droppable at this point to me. If you need a win. It's as simple as that. Don't, don't, you know, in Kyle's case, you know, don't tell me. I mean, he's okay for the playoffs already. But if you're holding two defenses or two quarterbacks right. or two tight ends, right. you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. You, uh, oh well, he has a better matchup next week. Well, if you lose this week, you're done. Yeah, there is so no there's week. a. You got to play for now and worry about next week. This is this is why streaming is a strategy, and we talk about it so much. You can stream quarterbacks. Brandon Allen's been usable in leagues this this year. Sure. Jeff Driscoll has been usable in leagues the last two weeks and has done okay. Um, people are dropping things all the time right now. You can go and pick up tomorrow somebody that was dropped. Some guy just picked up Jalen Samuels. And, they, I and mean, how Jalen Samuels is available in any league at right. this point, I don't understand. But there you go. Um, there are people that are available. Uh Defenses, we talked about it a couple weeks ago, but I still saw them on some waiver wires. Philadelphia's uh, schedule, uh, 13 through uh, 15, is just absolute cake. They play three of the worst offenses, three of the worst football teams. Say Philadelphia? Yeah, yeah Philadelphia does. So that's a, If you've got a spot. If you have a spot, they're, they're one. Um, you know, uh, and, and that's that's really it. Just pay attention to to your waiver wire. Check it. It's not good enough at this point just to check it on Tuesday. Who'd I get? Who who? Check who'd got dropped because weird people are being dropped right now this week because it's do or die week and it's the end of the buys. So next week everybody's back. So we don't have to worry so much about. We just have to worry about injuries. Yeah, you know? just so, get through this so week. Right, get through yeah. this week. So do what you got to do. I mean, you, you, look, nobody likes to to. To drop a Tom Brady. If you need to drop a Tom Brady, drop a Tom Brady. He's not yeah, been good. He hasn't yeah. been good. That offense is not good. Right. Gronk is not coming back, I mean, apparently. Does, but he does get Isaiah Wynn back. Like, that should help a little it, bit. It shouldn't. Mm. It should but hurt. they lose Muhammad Sanu, right? But they lose Muhammad Sanu. They don't have a downfield threat. Yep. Um, they don't have a tight end to speak of. Yep. So, it's to me, their their whole offense is, is Edelman and White. And if if uh, Michelle decides to have a good game and can run it or off. Harry. Well, but I think I'm playing Philip Dorsett in one of my leagues. Uh, he's hurt, he, I think. He's, oh, he's, he's, he's banged right. up. Uh, right. It looks like the, he's he's trending towards playing. I mean, they have to play him at this point. Right. They even put the the and I'm going to say this the wrong way, but the the Edelman clone 
Oluski or Zuski. I mean, he even sure. went, he even went to IR. He was the guy. He was the quarterback. Oh, I, I, I did not. I had no Ivy, idea. Another Ivy League guy. Okay. They were trying to convert him to a to a slot receiver. They're desperate. They don't. They don't have much. They probably regret the whole Josh Gordon thing at this point. But. Um, it it's do what you gotta do. It's not uh, don't worry about oh you know collusion and things like that. Why are you dropping them? It, uh, yeah, do, do it for yourself. Do right? do, do what worry you gotta do. You. Don't worry about if you, I I told somebody the other day they're like well I I have to pick somebody up but the only thing I can I can drop is Dak Prescott and I'm like first of all who's your starting quarterback Lamar. Well, Right. Do what when, you when are do. you ever going to be playing I mean, Dak Prescott? I, I, right. I mean, when are you, are, is there any week that we're playing Dak Prescott except for well, an injury? Has your trade deadline passed? <laughs> well, the trade deadlines have right. passed for mostly, and if they haven't, it's silly at this point. There shouldn't be trades at this point. Um, but you just got to do what you got to do. It's not, you know, there's no heroes at this point. I agree. <laughs> just, I agree. I get it. I yeah, totally get it. Yeah. All right, uh, need groceries today but don't have time to shop? Order online with same-day pickup or delivery at Wise Markets. Wise to go online. Hey, next week we're doing something a little bit different. Obviously, we won't be here on Thursday because of Thanksgiving, and you need to get your lineup set a little bit earlier next week because there's three games on Thanksgiving. So the Press Box Fantasy Football Show will be at noon next Wednesday. So we will be with you at noon after Glenn Clark Radio. That will be on Wednesday, November 27th. KZ will be here to set your lineups for Thanksgiving week. So that's just a short programming note. Won't be on Thursday next week because nobody will be here on Thursday of next week, and you're too busy. We will be here at noon on Wednesday for the Press Box Fantasy Football Show next week. At Fans Fantasy on Twitter, of course, is how you follow him. And uh, right now at PressBoxOnline.com. Uh, DFS lineups are up. Uh, sleepers will be out tomorrow. Very good. KZ, thank you, sir. Appreciate you. it. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for Glenn Clark Radio. This has been the Press Box Fantasy Football Show.